first off, I want to apologize for those who are still waiting for me to make a review on this Spigen uh, Z43 case that you could actually put the Samsung S Pen on it. Now it's been more than a month since I pre-ordered the product and I'm still waiting for them to respond to me whether they have shipped it or not. Um, I actually believe they're now ignoring my emails uh, because I've been chasing them and because it's been more than a month and they did promise they're going to send through the case within a month but hey that's what's happening but anyhow I just decided to order another one in the meantime because I think this could also be called categorized as the ultimate um, C43 case uh, so that's why I ordered the Arari um, case so this one for example is a shock observer and feel good grip i don't know what they mean by that but it's um 360 full protection so this actually does protect the hinge while the the hinge protector itself could be a slot where you could actually put the s pen as well and it's actually made uh in korea so um we all know that korean products are really good so i'm really excited about this so it's better than what i thought it's gonna be so let's get into the unboxing here it goes okay so let's open up the package itself this is transparent case by the way, which is very good. So hopefully it'll make the case look a bit thinner than how it is. Nice. Okay, all right. So that's pretty much it. So this is the actual, yeah, it's already chunky, isn't it? But the um, hinge protector and the also the slot for the S Pen and um, we have the actual Right, that's very interesting. So this is the instruction that um, you guys could always check it out, but it's pretty straightforward of what needs to be done. Um, so the difference is that this feels like very acrylic, sort of um, stiff, plasticky, while as this is more like a soft, um, uh, but only the hinge bit itself. There's a bit of a cushion on the, the front side but overall, I would say this feels more solid, probably because this is thicker than the rest, but the same material. And you know, the interesting thing again, is that you get this automatic, uh, you know, hinge protector. And it's overall good quality indeed, but my main concern will be this bit because a lot of people did complain about this bit actually being wobbly. Um, but I also want to find out whether it's going to be much chunkier than the one that I use for the Samsung original silicone case. Let's take out this one first. So immediately, um, yeah, it's, it is slightly thicker. I don't know whether you can see that. Um, yeah, it is slightly thicker. Anyhow, um, let's put that in there. Well, before that, let's just clean the actual phone to make it look more cleaner okay and the other bit as well so now this time you can actually see the uh, D brand um, skin as well in the back which is very good so does it feel Chunk here, yes, mainly because of this uh, hinge protector. And then what you need to do is add this by using the actual clip on the top and then slot it in. I think that's how the way it goes. So it's gonna make it look much thicker. So this original uh, hinge protector, you just need to open it up fully and then pull it from the top. Okay, phew, that was a bit tricky. Anyhow, let's replace it with the S Pen slot, which um, I believe this is the top. So, yeah, so if you close it, it is much thicker. I mean, the phone itself is already big. And just by adding this, you can see how much of a thickness it's adding. Yeah, so the actual original um, silicon case that um, protects overall without the hinge there's hardly any of difference of the thickness you can see from here but what really this actually greatly add 
is the sideways so when you hold it it feels very chunky indeed and this is exactly what I predict is going to happen um, and also the benefit of this is that again you can see the dbrand uh, skin on the back side but then again you can always take this off if, it's, if you think it's um, you know making things really chunky uh, and the other downside again would be that how do you see this um, you know when you flat on down on the desk but then again you have to probably do this or maybe do the other side as well so um, you can do selfie indeed and you could always take out the S Pen if you need to that's the only benefit um, regards to wireless charging you can do through this it's not going to be a problem at all but let's say if you're going to put it on a car, car mount that's the annoying bit so yeah every single time when you mount it on your car you got to take this bit out which is a huge disappointment but i i knew that's going to be the case anyway which is not going to be the case for the uh, speaking s pen uh, case so there you go that's pretty much it so do i think the arari transparent case for z fold 3 is the ultimate uh, case well i think the immediate answer i would like to give is that it gives you options. I think Arari team has done quite a lot of thoughts on how they can make a case on the Z Fold 3. And when I say options is that you can always take out the S Pen hinge protection uh, bit and then replace it with a thinner um, hinge protection if you are very conscious about it. To me, I just think that it's just too much of a sacrifice I have to make in overall. It's done, not only adds the thickness to the phone itself, but if you open it up, there's also this bit that sticks out. So I don't know how you're gonna mount it up to your car mount or any of the mounts that needs a flat surface. I mean, um, yes, you can actually take it out, but it is quite tricky to take it out. It's easy to put it in, but it's very difficult to take out the actual hinge protection itself. You gotta open it up and then somehow I don't know, it's just very tricky anyhow. But is it um, uh, improving from the silicon case? Again, I would like to answer it to be option. It's what you want to do. Uh, it's almost the same thickness as the silicon case, the Samsung silicon case that I bought, that I reviewed. So um, I think my most ideal scenario will be, I don't think I'm going to uh, put the hinge protection, either one of them. I do like the transparent because I can see the D brand uh, details on the back when I make a phone. I'm sure a lot of people are going to look at that. But um, also the downside of the transparent um, case is that you can easily see the dust gathering as well. So just bear in mind that I could already see dust is actually gathering around even though I didn't touch it inside. So that's amazing. But I think the best scenario again for me is to take out the hinge protection. But it is a vast improvement to uh, the uh, Z Fold S Pen uh, case that we have here, which flaps about in the front. So I hope this video gives you uh, a good insight of what this Arari transparent case is for Z Fold 3. But once I get the Spigen uh, S Pen uh, holder case, I'll definitely make a one-to-one -one sort of um, review and let you guys know my honest thought on it. But overall, not bad. Again, it's about option of what you can do and Arari has provided as much as option that is available. So well done for that. Anyway, if you have any queries, please do comment below and I'll try to come back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.